Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and this is the last video that goes through all the different blocks that the EV3 software has to offer that are legal for FLL. And that one is the file access block, which can be found right here. So if we drag that out, there are a few different options, um, but first I should get into what it actually does. So what the file access block does is saves an .rtf file, so rich text format, um, onto your brick. And it saves under your project name, so you can name your file and then it has, you can write information into it and then you can read it and you can delete it and uh, something that's called close, which we'll get into later. So right here is your file name. You can have it wired in uh, through a variable or you can uh, just name it, uh, or we can leave it as ABC here. So we have a few different modes. We have read and write. When you're writing, we'll go into write mode. Uh, it doesn't matter what, you'll notice that there's no uh, text or numeric option for write. There's only uh, just write. And this is because it doesn't really matter. You can put in uh, any any number or uh, letter in there over and over again and it doesn't and you can read whatever file format it ends up being which you'll have to indicate when you want to read the, the uh, file actually so for ABC we can put in a number we can do uh, one two three and so when we actually run this program uh, what will happen is it won't look like it'll look like it won't actually do anything but when we pull it up, I'll show you an example right here. This is an example of it running three times. So when we actually open up the file, you'll see that there are three entries of one, two, three. Every time that that block executes earlier, uh, it inputs a uh, one, two, three, and then a space, and then an enter. So uh, you can it keeps building on top of itself, so over and over again. Uh, so it won't rewrite the uh, file um, when you're running, the, say, the, the program again, or mission, or whatever you happen to be using it for. So that brings us back to uh, the block again. Um, the read is pretty standard. We'll just pull out another block here. There's two different modes, read text and read numeric. And this is entirely dependent on what... Um, information you're putting in. When you're putting in information that it doesn't require a uh, specific uh, data wire type. So you have to know what's inside the file and use your read uh, settings, text or numeric uh, appropriately. So if you have a number, in which case we do have a number, we'd want to go into numeric mode. Now you could also have letters and then you'd want to go into text mode. Uh, the other mode, another mode here, is uh, delete. So what this does is it deletes the file, whatever file you indicate, uh, off the brick in your specific project. That's pretty standard. Now the close file is a little bit more complicated. Um, you would think you, it, the close isn't probably a great name for it. Uh, basically what it does is it redirects a pointer to the top of your your file. So if we go back to um, our example, every time you read the file, when you're in read mode, it only reads one line. So if you want to read the third line, you have to execute the read block three times so that it can get down here. Now, say you want to read the first line again, you have to use the close mode to redirect the pointer back to the top. So uh, if you have a whole bunch of data in it, you're only each read block is going to only export the uh, first line, then the second line, then the third, then the fourth, and however many. And then the close will reset it to the top. So say you were going to do in a program here, and we'll read a numeric value, get rid of that, and then we'll display it on the screen. 
So if we go into text, pixels, have a wired input, and wire it up. So here we have uh, it inputting the information and putting it on the screen. It'll only input the first line. So it only input one, two, three. If you had a different uh, value for uh, the second line, like four, five, six, then, then then you'd have to press the read button again or put it in a loop or something so that you'll be able to see it again. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the for this block. It's really interesting. Some of the applications that you can have with this block, it can record data uh, and save it on your file or use data that you've preset uh, in your program to uh, do different things, perhaps based on an old mission or a uh, previous run of the mission. So you, you run a mission, realize that it didn't go far enough, and somehow it automatically corrects so that the second mission that you do uh, fixes itself. Really crazy applications, and have some fun exploring with this one.